www.oghuskyradio.com. Broadcasting live from the east side of Los Angeles worldwide. Go ahead and introduce yourself. They don't know who we got up in the spot. Wise one. Chev one right here. Dream one right here. Uh, Wise. Let's get into it, man. Uh, sure. what, what got you in the, into uh, into art? We'll put it that way. Well, actually. Hold the mic up closer. Actually, I just started drawing cars, and that was it. What's that? I'd say I was just drawing, just drawing cars, vehicles, yes. you know what I'm saying? And then I escalated that into graffiti when I got into uh, seventh grade, junior high school. Yeah. And then that's when I met Create. Oh, okay. And at the time, I was just tagging. I had, like, various names, you know, different names. And then he just gave me uh, Wise. He was like, why don't you just write, write Wise, Y and Z? You know what I mean? So at that time, you know, we had our, our first peace book battle. And it just went, you know, it went on since then. And then when we got to high school, we uh, started RTN, not the lunch table. Yeah. What what's what what's what school? At what area are we talking? Oh, we're talking John Muir, Junior High School, and then we're talking uh, Crenshaw. Okay, and what does RTN stand for? Rockin' the Nation. But before all that it was CMA. CMA that began like actually I forgot when that was that was think that was like way before junior high school. Cause I, I met Castro before I met Create. Okay. And Castro he used to live like around the corner from me. And there was these other two artists that was in a crew called CCA. There were twins called Lur and King. Okay. And they had pieces in my alley, like behind, you know, my garage and stuff like that. So I used to just go in the alley and envy those. Yeah. That's where I got, you know, my motivation from. And then once I got, you know, met Create, it escalated. You know, so we all like began our cruise at lunch tables. Criminal-minded artist, You're right. South Central original, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> man, I got chills, bro. Like, it's it's a trip because I, I, you know, I've been fortunate to interview artists in like South Central. Like, they know their history, though. Like, you get the younger cats and be like, yeah, man, CMA, dog. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, see, right, I'm like, right. that's crazy. Um, so then from high school, um, you progress from just doing that to what? What do you do now? Right, but see, actually, after high school, I mean, uh, we had me, basically me and Create had like went on journeys and started doing murals for you know businesses, going around asking people uh -huh. did they you know uh, want their walls done, was showing what we do, and some pieces were weren't ours. We just had pictures of you know things that other people did for like examples. Yeah. So then you know they would they would you know bless us with their with their walls and we turn it out. You know, then, but then came other people in the art, in the, in the uh, crew, and he started detaching himself with them. Yeah. So after that, I ventured off and started airbrushing at the Swap and Swap meet with the, with the, with the original cat called uh, Rish from Def, from Def Say Lawrence. Say the name again? Rish. Uh-huh. OG Rish. So me and him, you know, we started, well, they had already had L.A. Shirking. L.A. Shirt Kings, that was, you know, basically us. And we had, we had that for, like, quite some years, and then we broke off from there. By that time, I had stopped doing graffiti. Okay. This was, like, 94. So I just, you know, started doing regular jobs. Worked at an uh, advertising agency. Okay. And then uh, what made me come back to graffiti was we in touch with Create, and he was saying that, um, there was like uh, some photographers that was coming to, you know, photograph some, some new art that we had and was going to start a new magazine. So Inc., he, you know, he did the uh, memorial for, what is that, the guy from, oh, the guy with the one arm from New York. Oh. The, uh, the artist, what is his name? Damn, I got blank right now. I forgot his name, but he has that one arm. He's featured in Style Wars, right? That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. He, he, he's very known. But anyway, he did that for a memorial. I think it was like around the time that he had just died. Okay. And um, we were supposed to have been, you know, doing that yard, which was located on Manchester and Western. And so I did my first character. But by that time when I did that, I had forgot how to piece. 
Yeah. I forgot how to fade and everything else. So what I did was I just smoked the blunt. <laughs> and then it all came back to me. Straight up. Yeah. So the letters, the, the blending, right. that shit takes practice right. and practice. But it wasn't letters I was doing. I was just I was doing a character. Okay. And Create Here came to the wall, and he was like, yo, that's your first thing, time doing something since then? I'm like, yeah. He was like, shh. Damn, you know, it's impressed. And I was like, I didn't really like it myself. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of person that if I don't like something, that motivates me to do better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I never really envied no other artist. I never dick ride nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just look at that work. Cool. That's that, that's my motivation. D- do you have any formal art teaching? Any school? Uh, yeah, I went to Otis okay. Art Institute. And uh, various art classes in you know high school, throughout school like that. But uh, mostly from there, it was just you know mainly drawing on my own. Cause see, when in seventh grade, I was paying people to draw characters for me. Shit. I paid a person to draw a whole comic book. But after that, I just started doing that shit on my own. Shit. Yeah. What, like, what do you prefer to do? Like, what do you prefer to draw? Well, now I prefer to draw characters. Okay. You know what I mean? But letters just always been my thing. Okay. But I'm just like really trying to do my characters more. Damn. Well, uh, and then where's the TDK connection? How did that come about? That came about when I met this man, Dream, right there. What year are we talking about, or what? I can't even tell you. No. <laughs> what era? What, what era though? Like 80s, 90s? No, it was, it was new era. New era? Yeah. What is it? Just some South Central? No, type? actually, I was working in the squad and swap meet. Okay. And he came to get a shirt down for his son, and it just went from there. And it just linked up. Yeah, I was looking for the homie, Rich. <laughs> His yeah. homie, because Rich was TDK too. He used to be the main uh, main dude over there at the swap meet. And, and now now TDK, huh? Right. There it is. Give, give them your contact. They can hit you up because you 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 busy with the airbrushing and. Uh, I'm at um, Sherwood Andrews on Facebook and at Jurassic Airbrush on Instagram. Where I'm up? also from TWA and um, TDK, so that's four crews I'm representing. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I've been TDK one crew all my life, except some some of um, some of our crew members uh, through history started other crews or became involved with other crews. So since we're uh, all of us OG members are starting to find each other and we're getting back together, we um, they're basically repping everybody. You know, we're bringing yeah, everybody yeah. as a big ass family. So we got KCC, you know, we got IVC, OFA, and then and then I also got TGO, you know, with, oh, with nice. the homie X. So, uh, Word up. OG Husky Radio, stay posted, more interview to come.